Thank you so much, Lindsay, for all the best tips. All right, have you ever found yourself scrolling through delicious food on social media? I know I have, that's how I spend most of my nights. It's amazing, and they have all these really cool food trends these days. In case you've missed it though, nationally recognized dietitian and foodie, Anessa Chumley joins us with her top three social food trends you should be making and why. Welcome, Anessa. Hey, I'm so excited to join your show. I think it's the first time I've been on. And yes, Gabby, I've got my top three viral recipes you should be making, and I've got the inside scoop as to why. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And let this be your official warm welcome to Inside South Thank you. Florida. So what should we start with first? Okay, I'm gonna kick it off with the viral date heart. This recipe is perfect for heart month and everybody loves it. Not only is it adorable, but it's packed with this peanut creamy high protein center, a chewy date on the outside dipped in dark chocolate. And then I like to sprinkle mine with freeze dried strawberries. Now I am going to give you the secret to this recipe being successful. You have to use natural delights, medjool dates. They are my winner for the viral foodie category. First of all, they are American Heart Check certified, perfect for this month. But then also, they're not gonna spike your blood sugar like traditional sugar. So they're a sweet treat, but they're not gonna spike your blood sugar because they're low glycemic index and high fiber. So Gabby, I explained that to my kids this way. When it comes to blood sugar, we're not going for Six Flags roller coaster. We're kind of going for um, It's a Small World Ride or maybe even a little bit of Pirates of the Caribbean, just low dips. And what we want is this recipe to make with kiddos because it's so fun, it's delicious. And when you eat it, you're gonna be doing good things for your heart. Absolutely. You know what? I love dates because it's so versatile too. You can put some chocolate, you can put it in a smoothie. I mean, you can have that and it's a pantry staple, I think, really in my house because it's just so good. And like you said, good for you. And you know what? I really do love dates, Anessa, because it's such a pantry staple. You know, it's really versatile. You can do a lot of things with it. So what's the number two thing we have there? That's probably why dates are involved in the second viral recipe. And you've probably seen this. It's the viral date bark. So all you're going to do for this one is press those dates out into a plank and then drizzle them with whatever you want. I love to do gooey peanut butter, some chocolate, peanut, coconut. And then just for you guys, I made a matcha yogurt version with white chocolate and pistachios to kind of pull us out of February and into spring. Now, again, you've got to use natural delights, medjool dates, they're plump and juicy and they've got a high moisture content that is because of how they were raised so they were raised in the most optimal valley in the country where it is low humidity high heat but lots of water giving them a high moisture content and making them plump sweet chewy and delicious i know you're going to want to pick these up now and you can do that at your local whole foods Yes. Oh my gosh. That actually sounds really good. I didn't even think to put matcha in it. That's such a fun way to also like experiment with other tastes and flavors that you maybe wouldn't normally choose to pick. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. It's so fun. We're huge matcha people in this house. So they pair wonderful with dates and it's a fun, funky green color. Yeah. So fun. And that sounds so delicious. So what can we wash it down with? Cause I see some very popular drinks next to you. Okay, number three, the viral recipe is the functional mocktail. Now, the drink that you must make this with is Olipop. You might have noticed Olipop has sort of made a splash in Miami right now. They've got vibrant billboards and then these eye-catching murals everywhere, which is perfect because they are the world's first functional soda. So they have all these different flavors, Gabby, that are going to give you nostalgic feels like cream soda, vintage cola, root beer. Uh, but here's the cool thing about Olipop. It's good for your gut. So they're filled with prebiotics and I call pre prebiotics the food to nourish probiotics and let them flourish. But they're also filled with plant-based fiber and botanicals. All of them are so delicious and I've got two viral mocktails for you. First is the Sleepy Girl mocktail. This one's a favorite. You're gonna use a splash of tart cherry juice, a few limes, and then fill it up with Olipop's cherry vanilla. I stir in a little magnesium powder 
I call that one therapy and a glass before bed. It's so good. <laughs> my second, I know you're gonna love it. My second one is my Ollie Pop of Gold. This one is all about spring. And I made ice cubes just using lime, a little mint, parsley, and then I poured in my favorite drink, which is the Ollie Pop ginger ale. Freeze those, you're gonna put those in a glass, top it with some pineapple sorbet and a little bit of edible gold. And just for our numbers, people know that each can has only two to five grams sugar and nine grams of fiber. So it's going to be a uh, lucky for your gut and lucky for us. Olipop's now available at your local Costco. Wait, that sounds actually really amazing. You can have like a fun mocktail and then wash it down later on with something that'll help you fall fast to sleep. Look at you with oh, all the best tips and everything. <laughs> I know. And they're so perfect. They're so like eye catching and vibrant. Um, so if you haven't tried Olipop, I mean, there's so many different fun flavors. So we're huge fans in my house. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to try them. Like you, I really love that ginger ale, but I have to try some of the other flavors. So of course, be sure to check out Anessa's social media pages for these recipes and more nutritious and delicious recipes at Anessa Chumbly RD. Thank you so much. We're so happy to have you. Yeah, thank you, Gabby. I can't wait to come back on. Yes, you are officially part of the Inside South Florida family. Thank you. Sounds great.